Hi, I'm Collier Spring with the Avid Pro Audio team, and I'm here to introduce you to the new Avid Pro Tools S3 in this series of videos. Let's dive in, shall we? This episode is designed to help speed up your workflow with the S3, saving you time and decreasing the amount of key presses you have to make. Speed with control. If you haven't gone through the S3 videos on layouts, channel mode, artist transport, and automation modes, those are quite requisite for this episode to be of any real help. Okay, let's go. I'm assuming you've got U-Control set to open at login, so it automatically opens when you boot or reboot the CPU. Another helpful setup option is to lock to the application to Pro Tools or any other Yukon enabled DAW so that even if you're emailing or searching the web, you can still control the DAW from the surface. In general prefs, I check all but select by touch and display track numbers on the surface. This way plugins open and close from the service logically and the DAW will bank to the selected track even when you select it from the S3. These are all options, so start here and try other combinations to find your favorite way of working. That's the whole idea. Next, some quick navigational options. Assigning and editing layouts. The quickest way to get to you control layouts page is to hold surface shift on the S3 and press select on any channel. This brings up the assign page and you can create or edit layouts from here. To quickly bring up the S3 soft keys page, press the S3 show me key, the key that looks like an eye, and U Control will appear in the foreground and the right Control Soft Keys page is selected. Even cooler is if you press the Show Me key on the Artist Transport, the most recent soft key pressed appears, but if you want to interrogate what functions any of the other unlabeled soft keys have, just touch any key to see its assignment, including the Shift layer. Speaking of layouts, a good practice is to save layout number one as an all or full session layout, so you can easily get back to your complete session from any other layout you may be currently viewing. Another speed trick is when assigning tracks to a new layout, temporarily hide all the tracks you know you don't want in the layout so there's less scrolling. So if you want to create a layout of all guitar tracks in Pro Tools, hide everything but the guitar tracks, hit Shift Select, and assign your tracks. Quick. Done. One option in layouts is to leave a blank channel or two after the layout if it's less than all 16 faders, and leave a few faders as auto-assigned so you can still navigate your session while having a small select group of tracks always at your fingertips. While tracking, you can create a layout that has your input track locked to a single fader so you have constant control of it, leaving the rest of the surface to be auto-assigned and banked. If you're doing post work with Pro Tools HD, you can use VCAs or Group Masters in a single layout to mix your entire session. The S3 doesn't have VCA spill as a direct function yet, but there is a way to achieve that workflow. Make a layout with VCAs, select that layout, then put the lower encoders into channel mode by hitting surface shift and flip. Display mix, in other words outputs, by holding surface shift and pressing pan. Now you have the VCA masters on the faders and the slaves on the lower encoders. Select a VCA, in this case, the drums VCA. Move the VCA fader and the slaves levels change on the OLED display. Here's the cool part. Now press flip and the VCA master is now the encoder and the slaves of the selected VCA are on the faders. Turn the encoder and the slaves level on the faders change. To go one step further, you can stay flipped and select any VCA master by selecting the select key on the fader below the OLED display of that VCA master. You can mix all day in this mode. To get out of this mode, flip back to normal, exit channel mode, and select any other layout or any other mode. Note, the little arrow in the OLED display tells you that you're flipped, and the reverse LED, the dots in the background, tells me I'm in either channel mode or displaying parameters for auxes, plugins, or I.O. assignments. And yes, you can flip any plugin's parameters from the lower encoders down to the faders and back. I often assign fader number 16 as my Czar VCA. It controls all my VCA groups, so when I'm close to finishing mixing, I can pull back or push harder into the bus compressors and find that sweet spot to print my mix. Or do some creative soloing or cuts to the mix. Or whatever you want. Automation modes. Using automation is dead simple on the S3. Using the right control number 8 key, I can open and close the automation enable window. By holding the desired automation mode key, I can assign any channels to that mode. Holding the alt modifier key on the S3 assigns the chosen automation mode to all the channels. Holding the shift modifier key allows me to assign a sequential range of channels quickly. Memorizing the key modes is easy. Write read, touch off, latch match, trim, and view. If you forget which one is which, Touch the show me key and the automation modes pop right up on the screen. Inserts. 
Assigning inserts to a channel is quick and easy from the channel controls, but if you want to assign a certain plugin to multiple channels, do this. Select the channels you wish to assign to an insert, press multi-assign, enter inserts mode on the top encoders, go to configure mode, choose an insert slot and assign the plugin. Exit out of config mode and your selected channels now have the same plugin assigned to them. Speaking of inserts, if you want to choose a preset for an insert from the S3, just go to that insert directly from the encoders on the upper level. Then go to config mode and press the first encoder, which either displays the currently selected preset or factory D for factory default. Your available presets, if there are any, will be displayed across the encoders just as assigning plugins. When you select your preset, the S3 automatically exits config mode and goes back to the top level of channel control. If you've chosen your default EQ and Dynamics plugins on the mixing page in the Pro Tools preferences, then you can assign them quickly to a track by simply selecting the track, pressing the EQ or Dynamics key, or by pressing the EQ or Dynamics encoder from channel controls. Press once and it asks Add EQ or Add Dynamics. Press again and it assigns your default to that channel. Note, this function only applies to channels that do not currently have an EQ or Dynamics plugin assigned. Soft keys. Okay, soft keys applies both to the S3 as well as the Artist Transport, but the Transport has the jog shuttle wheel, which is a huge advantage in navigation and scrolling, zooming, and other stuff. So check this out. On the Transport, I've assigned the wheel keys from left to right as follows. Scroll horizontal, scroll vertical, zoom horizontal, zoom vertical, then play stop, record, and loop play. Now, when I need to scroll up and down, left or right, I can select that mode from the wheel keys and just spin the jog wheel to see what I need to see. Ever use clip gain? I've assigned clip gain to the wheel on the shift layer of the wheel keys, and then the clip gain line show hide as well. See how convenient that is? Simple, fast. Okay, this next one is gonna send you home early. For all you clip gain addicts, you gotta try this. Say I have a vocal that needs leveling due to multiple punches or a voiceover from different takes, days, years, and probably multiple engineers. So instead of slowly clip by clip leveling the track, I'll bypass any dynamics on that track, throw the track into touch automation, and ride the vocal fader, or whatever, in real time from the top. If you miss a move, use back and play, like I have it assigned to the number one surface level touch strip, and keep rolling. Once you've leveled out the track using fader automation, highlight all the clips in the track, and then use this command, which I've assigned to a key, convert automation to clip gain. It takes all my automation moves and turns them into clip gain moves. Now I can fine tune my clip gain or just turn on my dynamics and go back to mixing. Assign that command to any soft key on the S3 or transport, and along with back and play, you've just saved yourself an hour or two. Okay, that should keep you busy for now. Save early, save often. Be sure to see all the videos in this series on the Avid Pro Tools S3 and read the S3 user guide for uControl 3.2.2.